And welcome back. Well, Ghost Hunters is sci-fi's longest-running unscripted series. There are real-life ghostbusters who conduct investigations at haunted locations. In each episode, the Atlantic Paranormal Society, or TAPS, travel across the country to investigate paranormal activity. So joining me now to tell us about their upcoming 10th season is Jason Hawes and Steve Consalves. Good morning, guys. Good morning, Good Tiffany. Morning. Thanks for having us. Thanks for being here. I'm excited about this. I've watched your show many times. You're going into your 10th season. You had over close to 2 million viewers in this last season. Why do you think this is such a hit? Is it because so many people feel that they've had a connection or have seen ghosts themselves? Well, I think that might be a big part of it. But also, I think uh, from what we hear most of the time from all the fans, like even when we've been out in Milwaukee, we, we speak at Paps Theater mm -hmm. and so oh, yeah. forth. Um, they all say that it's the fact that we've kept it real, that we go in, we're looking for a real explanation. We're not, you know, something happens, we don't aim the camera at the floor and run out like a bunch of the shows that have come and gone. Yeah. Uh, we're truly looking for the explanation, trying to help out whether it's paranormal or not. And I think that that has really set our show apart. That's why we've lasted 10 years. That's why we air in 140 countries, uh, because of those reasons. I think it's great, and I, I, I showed some pictures. I've been on a lot of the ghost tours here in town in Milwaukee, and I've, I've captured some what I believe to be ghosts in pictures. I have not seen them with my own eyes until a picture, but that's kind of what I wonder for you guys. When you're there, how often are you seeing things versus hearing? Because when you watch the show, it's really a lot about the, the videos and the um, what, what's the machine that you use that records things? Well, we use all different DVR, things. Probably. Yeah, DVR, uh, thermal imaging, uh, zero lux cameras, uh, full wire spectrum, you know, wireless audio. Um, the list goes on. But yeah, it's about a lot of times you'll see things that show up on the footage that you weren't able to see with your eyes um, right. at the time. And nice thing about this season, though, is we were field testing some new equipment from th uh, from uh, Fleur, uh, thermal imaging they had given us to test out before it went out to market, and that we were actually able to experience some things at some locations where we could see what appeared to be a person walk by with the thermal, but you look with your eyes and there's nobody there, but it's showing up on a heat signature. Yeah. So um, we had experiences like that. And just the evidence we've caught this year, I think, uh, stands incredible compared to uh, a lot of the seasons prior. I mean, some of the gadgets we have now, I mean, that, that FLIR camera, Jay was talking about, I mean, it hooks up right to your smartphone and it's easily accessible and it's true thermal it is true thermal and uh, just to have that and uh, ready to use at any time it really uh, gave us the uh, ability to capture evidence quickly and and uh, thermal is a, a much more uh, sort of quantifiable evidence than uh, say infrared or, or full spectrum so I've got a couple quick questions for you guys in general terms yes or no do you both believe in ghosts we do. I, we yes. just believe over 80% of all claims can be disproved. Uh, we go mm -hmm. in looking for the, the real reason behind what's going on. Is it, is it really their dead Uncle Fred flushing the toilet at 11 p.m.? Or <laughs> is it a leaky flapper valve in the toilet? Which <laughs> are things that you, you do find. But also you deal, some clients are great, but you also deal with some clients who have issues that, uh, that need to be addressed and those are the problems yeah. that's why they're they're having these experiences as well whether it be schizophrenia over medicated under medicated self medicating individuals um, there's a lot of different reasons behind it that you got to look for the real explanation well I, I like that part of what you do because you truly do showcase these stories and then get to kind of the bottom of some of the issues potentially uh, for you guys uh, places yeah. that you've believed there's been paranormal activity do you have theories behind why you think that there is a, a potential ghost ghost or soul or energy in that space why they pick certain spots well, that could be for many different reasons. Um, when we've investigated places like the Stanley Hotel, it's a hotel that's built on the mountain. Um, it could be the rocks that, uh, that make up the mountain or whatever uh, is, is in those rocks is helping to hold the energy, fuel, fuel the activity. Um, there's other places we've been, uh, Waverly Hills, where 60 plus thousand people died. Ooh. So the potential for activity is so much more greater seeing so many more individuals passed away. Yeah, it's not black and white where the answer is very evident right in front of you. Each case is specific and you really have to, you know, use your investigative skills to try to figure out uh, why they're there, you know, what the reason is, what they need, if they need anything. Uh, do they have conscious thought? Are they there for a reason? Is it just residual and they have no idea what's happening? So you really need to figure it out. In each case, 
uh, would have its own theory as to why these spirits are still there or have decided to return. I love it. Well, I'm excited to follow along with your journey this season. Jason and Steve, thanks for joining us. Thank, thanks for having us. And 8 p.m. tonight on the Sci-Fi Channel. That's yeah. right. Ghost Hunters premieres uh, this Wednesday on Sci-Fi. That's where you can find it. All right, now let's head over to Molly.